both out. You were out in the <laughs> chair first, dude. You, you were both out. I uh, was. They were very gracious, very nice people. Oh, they were great. They and, were, and they, um, and they explained everything really well, man. I was they really did. impressed they, with their professionalism. They, they step for step, they walked us through things and what was going on. But uh, it, I found it to be. I don't. I didn't know what I ex- expected to see. I, I will say this: they were under immense pressure with yeah. that many people being around. I found some of the devices to be a little uh, pseudo science to me. Yeah, some of them were pretty neat though. I mean, the stuff that they had that was, uh, you know, kind of a uh, ad- store bought but then adapted was was pr- kind of cool. The way they did it, the uh, the uh, EMF things yeah. were, were were pretty neat. Yeah, uh, they had a couple couple neat things. They had a couple things that I didn't uh, didn't understand why they were there or what they were doing with them. The I mean, speaking my, spell. They had that, yeah. There was a bit of a speak and spell type device. They had that bear that talked if you were. No, that thing creeped me out. I don't know if it, I don't think there was anything haunted there, but I think that bear was was creeping me the hell out. The bear kind of came across like a uh, demonic Teddy Ruxpin, uh, mm-hmm. but I found honestly I was a little disappointed. Now, I again I will preface by saying they did have a lot of. Uh, uh, distraction, yeah, outside interference going on, right? So, who knows if how I was it would have gone? I, w- I wouldn't have come out. I've been like, you know, right, what? Hey, scared to go so I mean, you're a human. We're still waiting for you to come out. So I, I get it. I'll come but out. I'll come out in your mouth. Oh, oh. see, case in point. See this? Well, I, think, I think he just came are, out. Are, are you getting a little more comfortable now? I, I yeah, mean, maybe I know you too. You much. know, I had I had a totally different take than both you guys. Okay, I'm um I'm actually starting up the uh, CEPI. Seppi. Do you, I really want to know what the hell the CEPI you is? You probably should know because you're going to be part of it. Oh, well, really? <laughs> well, that's the plan. It's the oh. cranial mission paranormal investigation. Mm. Serious? I, 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 yeah, I think I think I felt something while I was there. And I, I mean, we all know that. Well, you Jesus, did eat like a couple slices of pizza before they showed up. So what were you feeling? I mean, was it just a gas bubble or? Well, no, I, I don't know if you remember, <laughs> but I actually put my own I put my own mushrooms on the pizza. So I felt something going on that night. I'm not really sure what went down, but that's why I was up so late. But I don't know if you remember our own Jesus Julio. He he's been known to contact the dead here and there. Yeah. So we that's we, why I kind of had a little bit of issues with everything. Yeah, he didn't you know, like the way it was rolling. I I can you know personally channel these ghosts. I don't need gadgets or anything. I just take my own aura and create a vacuum that sucks spirits from the other world and brings them to us. Right. Yeah, well, I, I've seen you uh, suck at talking to spirits. <laughs> Isn't that what you meant? Because, I mean, I remember when ben, we first started doing this show, yeah. you supposedly talked to spirits through a Ouija board. But are you suggesting that that was real? Because I never really believed Pull that Pull up that the was archives. Real. Bring it up. Okay, so then you're saying that you are clearly more spiritually gifted and that you don't need these kind of gadgets. I don't need any gadgets. We don't. Maybe, well, maybe Joe, a Ouija board. Joe was there. You were there. Yeah, I was there. I don't necessarily believe in what you claim. Dude, me and so Jesus. you don't claim to talk to Ted Knight or any, any of the... I remember hearing from Ted Knight. Patrick Swayze? You don't remember talking to Patrick Swayze? This is years ago. I mean, today's our five-year anniversary for the show. That was like, like four five years, years ago. ago. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere around... <laughs> It yeah. was close to five years ago. Yeah. yeah. But Ben, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna re we're bringing it back. So we're, wait, so wait, so Seppi, you're telling yeah. me that we're we're forming an organization called Seppi, a paranormal, yeah, cranial missions, paranormal, paranormal investigation. I have right. I have been in contact with Ted Knight in recent weeks. Oh, yep. you have? Yes, I have. Okay, he's, so you have been. He's honing, got a lot, he's got a lot to say. So you've been honing your uh, paranormal channeling ability. Uh, it doesn't need honing. It, it, I just, it's you know, always there, man. It, it's just there. It's just when I feel so like you, doing you it. So you believe this shit too? Believe Joe. it. We came up with this together, man. This is what we're gonna do. He was there. He said he did. He so didn't. you guys were inspired by this group to? No, no. Actually, we, they inspired us to that that we should try to do our own thing because, yeah, um, he he's definitely a gifted. Gifted paranormal bullshit expert. artist? No, no, uh, no, Ben. You know what, bullshit. dude? Maybe we're not going to let you be part of this. You keep that attitude up. I don't know. If, I don't know. If prospect should even be part of this. I don't man. mean. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would hate for <laughs> that to uh, further diminish my credibility by not being a part of this. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Well, uh, you, you know what? Obviously, you, you can tonight go out to the we can't do it. But well, we didn't bring the Ouija board. But all right. Well, we're going to do it again. Yeah, it's going to so work. So we're going to well. bring this back. So okay, all right. all right, all right. You know what? I'll humor you on this. Another week or two. We'll bring back the Ouija board like yeah. we did back in the day. We used to do that in the studio. Caleb, you weren't privy to that. 
you're lucky you weren't but <laughs> apparently we're going to bring this back and we'll see what happens because i'm not sure i could use another skeptic on hand to uh, witness uh, this I, with uh, me uh, yeah because i want to get you. what your take of it is because obviously these two are believers i will say we can't do it here uh, uh there's no way passwords letting any of that equipment in the house she's free no that's gonna have to be it, out it's so. gonna be out to be out the uh the compound okay we can do it there yeah no sweat we'll, we'll be that's there. probably a good place because there, there was an Indian. Um, and to be honest around. with you, Caleb, I just don't feel the the mojo here. Yeah, it's too yeah. new. Yeah. It's too new. He does feel the, the the spirit of John Griffin here, though, for some reason. I don't yeah, know. I don't know why that is. That is. Dude, it it's is crazy. Odd. But he, and he's not even dead. So <laughs> that, nor does that, he have a soul. <laughs> well, that's another good point. But anyway, I mean, there is there is a spirit inside this Freemore house. That reminds <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy that you know the builder of this home. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> while we're talking about uh, ghosts. Imagine what you would feel like you're driving down the road and you go to pass a car. You're wondering why this car is driving so slow. Hey, we got a we got a call coming in here. Well, do it. Yeah. I'll go. Great. Cranial Mission Show. Hello. Hello. Oh, was it where you're blessed by Lord Stacy Cheese calling in at the moment? Our, our interactive contributor, whether we like it or not. Welcome, Stacy. Well, I was really only calling um, to comment on the crock of utter poop that I was just uh, listening to about uh, contacting paranormal, or as we like to call it, bollocks. Well, I, 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 before we go into that, I have a question for you. Are you standing, yes. are you standing in an echo chamber? <laughs> no. It, it could are be you in a hallway? In rather large glass I have in front of my mouth. <laughs> oh, you got rather you large glass. <laughs> is it a ra- rather large glass dildo? Yes, it is. It is. It could be. <laughs> no, it's a glass of gin and tonic. Okay, oh. uh, which is a great drink this time of year. It is. It's a gentleman's drink. It definitely is. You got you got a lime in there? Uh, no, I said it's a gentleman's drink, not Uh-oh. a disgusting ingrate's drink. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's drink, a lemon, and it has a lemon in it. You do colonial. You, do you have your pinky sticking out? No, not now because I've put it down. Okay. <laughs> I need I need to bring over some more of that uh, that basil lemon simple syrup for you. I that was a secondary reason I believe for the call to say that I haven't had that in a while. I'll, I'll make some up for you. So, uh, Lord Cheese, you're not you're not down with Seppi? I mean, because we're starting our own paranormal. No, 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 no I'm I'm down with the concept of Seppi. You, like many other people, will con many other people, but I mean, we all know, including yourselves, what a pile of food it is. No, no, no. See, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a believer, and I do see a way of conning people through this. So, um, yeah, absolutely. I believe that, uh, I, you know, I don't really feel like I'm conning people. I feel like the spirits that are coming into me are conning people. <laughs> that the spirits going into you, are they by any chance called Jack? Uh, <laughs> Jack, Jim, uh, um, Captain. Jose. Yeah, I, yeah. I yeah. quite often have con- I, I chatted with Gordon earlier, yes. <laughs> Many of them, many of them. <laughs> Absolutely. There's there's a lot of fine spirits out there, and um, we, we, we like to try them all, I would say. But, no, this is going to be an excellent thing. I mean, I don't know if you know this about Jesus Julio, but he is um, actually has contacted many spirits and, and is really good at contacting them, like, within two days after they die, which is great so we can get a, a good take on what hell's like compared to Earth. That's the one stipulation. He right. never has been able to go to heaven. It's All his contact. Hey, Jesus hey, 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 Julio is good when his microphone isn't working. <laughs> wow. 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 Hey, Zeus, man. I take exception to that, Cheese. <laughs> Why did uh, Lord no, Cheese decide to uh, subject you to his wrath? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's because I, I didn't I show up for Tottenham the whole, last weekend. Him and his, I can contact the, uh, the dead. Well, he's, yeah. he has been trying to feed us this crap. For five years yes. now, Stacey. When we first started doing this show five years ago, he claimed to have paranormal ability. And I always I always doubted this. But we there were times in our old studio where we employed the use of a Ouija board. Yes, the little widget, whatever the hell you call that thing, moved around. Oh, yeah. But I always accused Jesus of uh, pushing it around. But then his eyes would roll back in, 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 into his head. He would start drooling. 
and he would channel supposedly the voice of, of uh, Ted Knight, the dead actor. Ted well, then, from then I must be paranormal too because my eyes roll into the back of my head when I hear him talk as well. well ben, ben didn't finish, and then Ben would zip up his pants, and then the paranormal <laughs> episode would be over. It was, it was weird. The only reason I could agree that Jesus Julio may have some paranormal ability he, is he has zero normal ability, so there must be something. Okay. Well, There's definitely something now there. That You'll was... see, Cheese. I will show you, Mother. Uh, no, is this on no, is no, this you won't. Well, we, we curse. We just don't drop the F word. We don't we drop th- the F bomb. We think that that makes it less. Okay. Uh, um... Well, that was a good catch. <laughs> Didn't you say now, Caleb, that Spreaker automatically. Uh, yeah. Does it? But yeah, if we it, don't it, say it, the F word, okay. it doesn't make it explicit. Does no, it? It, does, it doesn't bleep it or anything, but it will mark the show explicit if, if it hears. If it detects the F word? No, or there... no, it'll do it for... Uh... So if I say shit, it's oh, explicit. It... Well, so you, know what, explicit. you know what that means? Increased ratings. Yeah, I always like increased ratings. Well, we have been I getting uh, a further international audience. I mean, granted, they're alive. I mean, apparently Jesus' ability to channel the dead isn't leading to better ratings. <laughs> we well, Jesus hasn't channeled the dead in like listen, four years. You know, listen, so. we're not going to... I don't think we need to talk about this anymore. We're not doing it tonight. You don't believe... We're gonna make you believer this time, Ben. You I'm tried you. to make me a believer five years ago. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Ted Knight, and I'm gonna, you know, have him reach out to some English chaps that are down in hell. Oh, and we're gonna, we're gonna try to get some of them. There are no English in hell. Oh yes, French. there is. Yes, Only there is. French. Oh. Well, especially after today. Oh, oh, that might be on a bad <laughs> note. Oh. Jeez, oh, you could call it terrorism or start one yeah, of the two. Yeah, uh, we've been I've been tiptoeing around that all night, and he just uh, dropped a. Well, that's that's my nature. Yeah, I, I'm blunt and go yeah. right at it. Well, you know that's because you know you contacted that. So, uh, Lord Cheese, uh, how do you think the French are going to react to this? Uh, I believe they're going to call for aid from someone else. They no. now, when you say react to this, uh, you got to set it up to where some. Look, not everybody is aware of what you're talking about here. You're referring to the terrorist well, attacks. Only you are the only person who was aware and that had no idea. I believe, I believe 99.9% <laughs> of the populace are aware of this. Well, there's a point one of us that live in a media-free cocoon, you bastards. Dude, he shows up at the radio show tonight. I'm like, Ben, what do you think about what happened in, in France? He's like, what, what is this? Personally, New I think or something? what occurred was, and I, I have a little bit of an inside track on this. So you heard it here first. The music was so awful that people actually were shooting themselves. That's what I heard. Wow. They, um, pl- they played only the week prior in the UK, and I heard it set off an angry backlash from fans about how terrible this metal band was. And that, there you go. Okay, well, um, that's, a, that's a new take on it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't... That is our domestic, uh, well, our foreign national domestic correspondent. correspondent. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so our foreign national <laughs> thankfully, domestic correspondent. Thankfully, the French SWAT team uh, drove in before it could get even worse. Yeah, from what I understand, there was, uh, there was uh, hostages up until just recently. Is that correct? Yeah, over 100. Oh, my goodness, dude. I mean, uh, at least it wasn't any, anyone important. It was just French people, right? They ordered uh, four French loaves and 900 cloves of garlic for lunch. Hold on, I gotta check the interactive map and see if anybody listens from France real quick. Hey, let me ask. Oh you. wait, we do. I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully, no those one, people are safe. No one from France is listening to an American show. Don't don't fool yourself. We do actually <laughs> have an audience in France. So, Lord Cheese, let me ask you that the the president of France said that he was closing the borders. What exactly does that mean? Nobody can go in. Nobody can go out. Can they actually? Well, he, he can't really close the borders, but he can he, he can obviously close off the main or he can pass more control better the main rail and airlines. But I that's about to, it. Uh, it's it's pretty right easy to move around right, right now with a European step. passport. You don't even need to really show it. Right, because they opened. Yeah, so you, it, there's no like actual border check. So. Closing the borders is only kind of like, uh, it's kind of blowing hard at that point, I imagine, yeah? Yeah, yeah, there's only so much you can do. And let's face facts, there's, there's so many of them living there already that you're <laughs> really not closing them out. Yeah. <laughs> They're saying now... Uh, closing I, the borders at this point is going to keep them in. I just saw the updated report. They're saying at least 149 dead now. Oh, last what? I heard. Yeah. Last I heard was 35. Yeah, it was last 35 confirmed, no. 60, 60 they thought. But it, how many locations now? Five or six different locations? Well, that's what I was trying to read, and then that, uh, that's what that you guys heard. Yeah, I background. know it's multiple. It was like 100 and something at the stadium alone. Dude, are we, are we ever going to learn to just like just start capping motherfuckers? <laughs> hey, I went and did right, that. Right. No, I'm serious, man. I mean, it's like, hey, look, I'm all about you know letting 
letting people be until they start shooting at me, and then I got a problem with it, man. I mean, literally. Are you, I mean, seriously, are you telling me there was a one person in that audience with a good string of onions they could have thrown at them? I, I even heard. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm thinking beat somebody them to, beat them to death with a French stick from yesterday's baking. Yeah, someone somewhere had a baguette that had been stale <laughs> right. from the day someone before. Had a stale, crusty baguette. Right. There yeah. wasn't a stinky armpit in the house that could have knocked him out. There was none of that. <laughs> I mean, well, that's that's actually that's funny enough. That's how they.